ANC veteran MP Ben Turok led the investigation into Pule. He reiterated that she actively allowed her alleged romantic partner, Posane Mkrebisa, to reap certain benefits. She had denied her relationship with him, but he accompanied her on various international trips on government business. The communications department paid for at least one of these. What is remarkable about these trips? is that Nkibisa had no formal status at these meetings. And when asked what his role had been, he was unable to answer. It is clear, therefore, that he benefited from several privileges through his association with Honorable Pule, none of which were declared. Nkribisa made 6 million rand from contracts during last year's ITC in Daba. Turok also referred to attempts to interfere with the investigating panel. The witness Mkimbisa came to give evidence accompanied by a bodyguard. This bodyguard stood outside the doors of our, our, our committee room and interfered with the registrar at a coffee break. There is no place for private bodyguards in Parliament and they should have been removed. Turok recommended that the presidency investigate the relationship between the department and private entities and that the Public Service Commission investigate certain officials. He also wants the report referred to the SAPS and the National Prosecuting Authority. Delivering his reprimand, National Assembly Speaker Maxi Sulu said Pule should not have put herself in this position. Your breach of the code of conduct, Ms. Pule, has gravely undermined the people's trust and brought this House and its members into disrepute. Furthermore, you willfully misled the Ethics Committee by lying under oath in your continued attempt to conceal your relationship. Your direct contravention of the provisions of Section 96.2 of the Constitution by allowing your position to be used to improperly benefit your permanent companion shows indifference to our Constitution, which is unacceptable. Pule's address belied the stone face with which she endured the reprimand. Honorable Speaker, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, I want to say in this house that I gave the best I could do to do my job and that if in the course of me doing my job I made a mistake, I am sorry, I apologize. She will forfeit a month's salary and is suspended from Parliament for 15 days as of tomorrow. Abra Barbia, SABC News, Parliament.